Last week, while editing the last upload, I was having a little bit of a conniption. I was quickly running out of space on my refurbished laptop because I added a lot of elements into my video and my Mac was getting full. In fact, it was getting really sluggish, testy, and feisty. And through its temper tantrums, I managed to finish editing, then realized that I could not export as I had mere megabytes of space left. <sighs> okay. Time to export. No, I don't wanna. You don't wanna what? I don't wanna export. Why? I need to get this video uploaded. Export. No. Uh... <laughs> Why? What's wrong? Look at me. Look at me. I'm backed up. Constipated. I can hardly move. You need to clear me out. <laughs> What's a girl to do? I had other projects on the drive that I could not afford to lose. The latest video took me days and hours to edit. Click on the manage button. Clicking on manage. I see that the iMovie library has taken ginormous gigabytes of space. Hence the reason why laptop feels so bloated and cranky. Hmm. Is it possible to move the iMovie library to an external drive so that I can export the video? Yes. Yes, you can. And... You can also edit off the external drive, which is what I'll be doing from now on into 2025 and beyond. Okay, here's how you do this. You need to find an external hard drive with a lot of space, one terabyte and above. I have an extra terabyte Toshiba drive lying around and we will use that. I will link some other external hard drive in the description box below. You want to make sure that this hard drive has high read speeds so that you have no issues editing your videos. Plug that hard drive into your laptop. Wait till its icon appears on your desktop. Open Spotlight Search and type in iMovie Library. You either get a pop-up box with a bunch of files to choose from. And if you do, you will scroll down and you will choose something to the sound of open in Finder. Or what happened to me is that iMovie opened up or I already had iMovie open. Once iMovie opens up, move your cursor over to the left side and right click on iMovie library and select reveal in Finder. Or what really happened to me was that as I was, I was having a heated discussion with my computer and its storage, I clicked on the manage button and I clicked on documents, which had taken up a lot of gigabytes of space. And I saw the iMovie library there. And then when you click on that, you can have that reveal and finder and take you to where it's located. The movies box will open and it will show you iMovie library and iMovie theater. You want to select both iMovie library and iMovie Theater and right click and select copy. Now locate the icon of your external drive on your desktop, click on it to open, create a new folder if you wish, then open that new folder, right click inside and select paste. Wait till both your iMovie Library and iMovie Theater pastes over into your external hard drive. Once your precious files has copied over into the folder that you created in your external hard drive, check them to make sure everything has copied over well. I already have it here. These are the, you can see what was the 40.89 gigabytes that I had in my, I exaggerated in the video, but you get it. This is the actual iMovie external library, and this is just a demo. All right, and so if we go here and we open the iMovie library, if I just click on this iMovie library, it will open the iMovie, and you can see, I'm gonna do some B-roll of my external drive lighting up, and we're waiting iMovie. Hello, where are you? It's minimized here. But is this the iMovie? Yes, this is the iMovie. This is iMovie library. Let's do this. So you can see my media. There you go. And here is my media on the external drive. And here's more iMovie libraries. Here's more. Uh, if you look at all events here, 
you can see I have all these. If we go back to projects, there you go. There you go. Now we can say quit for now. Quit. I just realized, I'm sure some of you want to know, what. so what does iMovie look like now on your laptop now that everything is on the external drive? This is the external drive. I'm not going to click on that. I'm actually going to go into my computer and we're going to choose iMovie. And I apologize for the messy desktop. Look, now iMovie is opening on my laptop. Let's see what does it look like on the laptop. All right. Is it opening on my... You know what I'm... Oh, because now it's it's now opening from my hard drive. Give me a second. Let me eject my hard drive first. I'm going to eject the hard drive. Let's quit iMovie because it's now opening from this guy here. On a side note, I think my, my laptop went through an update and now it's like you can't like move anything. It's like it creates all these piles, which I kind of think is kind of neat. Like, look at this. You like you click on these screenshots and it makes the, and then you click on movies and it makes your desktop neater, which I kind of like. But the drawback of that is that I can't move things around. Like if I want to move it here, you know, it's kind of like the update. It's like, no, it's just going to have to be there. Yeah, okay, whatever. I digress. We're going to eject this right now and I'm going to unplug it. Well, I'm going to wait till the light turns off on the drive. Okay, turned off. Okay, we're going to unplug it. Now it's totally unplugged and now we're going to go and open iMovie to see what it looks like solely on the laptop after I've... All right, there you go. It's pretty much blank. There's no, because everything else, if we look for media, there are no media. We look at nothing, everything is, it's all blank because everything now works from the external hard drive. And now the laptop recognizes that everything works from the external hard drive. Once you're entirely sure, you can delete your iMovie library and theater from your laptop, not your external drive, from your laptop. If you feel the need to err on the side of caution because you feel something's going to blow up and you're going to still lose your files, even though you already copied them over to another safe place, then don't just empty out the trash just yet. Since now you can export your video from your roomy external drive. Hi, editing Mina here. So when I said that now you can export your video from your roomy external drive, in my case, I didn't have enough room on my laptop. I only had, I think, like 500 megabytes left. If I were to worry about losing and just keeping what I had in the trash, I believe I would have had to export file and save it to the same external drive to then upload it to YouTube. But what I actually ended up doing was, because I always save my iMovie exports to my desktop, it's just easier for me to access, I deleted the iMovie library from the laptop which obviously freed up like 30 gigabytes of space and I was able to export seamlessly my the video that everybody has been watching about Linux to the desktop. So yes, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Once you are certain you're not going to lose any of your amazing awesome sauce video creations, you can clear out the trash and free up some much needed space from your laptop. Your laptop will thank you for it. What a relief. Tell me about it. How are you feeling now, laptop? I feel lighter and so much free. I believe I can fly. Okay, I get it. I get it. From now on, I will edit off the hard drive. It will save me so much time and <clears throat> keep me running, moving, and flowing smoothly and efficiently. That's right, baby. Okay, bye. If you got this far, thanks so much for taking the time out to watch my video. If you enjoyed how this information was presented, please like and consider subscribing so that I can reach more amazing, awesome sauce people just like you. Thanks again for stopping by. See you in the next upload. Cheers.